What is up guys, it's your boy Swalam here, back with another Dragonflight gold making video. So, I actually have a lot of characters in Dragonflight, and today I'll talk a little bit about why and how you can use any leftover level 60 character you currently have to make a lot of gold throughout the expansion, and especially right now, a lot of gold right now as well. This gold making method will be really good throughout the entire expansion though, at least hopefully it's going to be, and yeah, we're going to talk about using some professions on some leftover characters if you have a level 60 character right now that you're not playing for whatever reason i would recommend setting this one up takes like one or two hours and you can start reaping profits every single day or every single week on that character for the rest of time just giving you passive gold throughout well uh, weeks days whatever before I get into that though, I do want to say a massive thank you to everyone who's picked up my Dragonflight Gold Guide so far, and if you haven't picked this one up, this is currently a 170 pages long PDF document for gold making, containing 40 different uh, Dragonflight Gold Farms, plus more to come as well. We also have Steady Gold Farms, so I talk about professions and which ones to use, and different setups for different professions, and we also have an exclusive Discord server for that Gold Guide as well, so when you purchase the Gold Guide, you will get invited to a Discord server survey, where you also get early access to videos and also exclusive videos as well, which gives you an upper hand on gold making. You also get access to videos before they go public, so you can make more gold with those gold making methods before, well, the rest of people start making profits. That way you will get way more profit than you otherwise would, just to give something back to you guys as well. So if that sounds interesting to you, the link to the gold guide will be down below at the top of the video description and the pinned comment, and right now you can also use the code Solheim, aka my channel's name, to get it for half price. With that being said, let's talk about how you can utilize some leftover characters you currently have to make some gold in Dragonflight. So the method we're talking about today is transmuting, and this requires one profession, which is alchemy. So you want to have, well, as much skill in alchemy as possible, and you can do some different transmutes, but the one that I'm personally doing is transmute awakened ear. You can also buy some other transmutes on the auction house, and the one that could also be worth doing is transmute awakened earth. This one used to be very profitable before, and actually right now it's back to being more profitable than air again, but this one also costs some gold on the auction house, so you can go and buy this one on the auction house, cost you like a hundred gold, but right now ears are going up in price and the earth are going down in price for their, for whatever reason, so personally I'm just transmuting Awakened Ear because that is what I have on this character, but I also have two other transmuting characters, more specced into transmuting. This one is kind of just like a backup, and I'll show you why. This one isn't actually specced into multicraft or resourcefulness, I went into DKology to test out a theory that I had about decay to elements and also order to elements, so just testing out some theories on this guy, but if you want to really min-max here, you can see right now I have 40% resourcefulness when transmuting, so if I spec into resourcefulness right here, I would save way more reagents while I'm actually transmuting, so by specking myself fully out here, I will get way more use of this resourcefulness that I currently have, but you can also go down into multi-crafting, so by going for this this one all the way through, you will have a ton of multicraft, and also every single multicraft will give you 50% extra reagents. So those two are definitely worth more than this one right here. So those are what I'm usually going for, but you also really want to have this one. This one is what makes it so you get some extra resourcefulness, which is what I currently have, but you also get this one down here, allowing you to transmute more frequently and with higher capacity. So now you can see I currently have 10 10 out of 10, and they also recharge faster. So by having that one, this one is important if you ask me, really important to have if you really want to min-max your gold here and do as many transmutes as often as possible, get this one to 20 before going into either multicraft or resourcefulness uh, in addition to get those as well. Now let's talk about the profits. So for Awakened Air, you also have Awakened Earth once again, but for Awakened Air, you're crafting two of them, they're selling for 711 gold each. Let's go down to 700 for some easy, easy math. So that is 1.4k gold. And Awakened Frost costs 279, while Awakened Fire is 152. I am terrible at quick math, but I think that's 430 gold. 
So I'm basically getting almost 1000 gold profit on every single transmute and that is baseline. That is just with the resourcefulness that I currently have by being in the wrong spec. This can be improved even further as well. I also have green gear for example. You can use your metal to get blue gear. So you can get that to make it even better for you. You can be in the right spec to make it even better for you. But baseline you're getting 1k profit per craft and right now I have 10 crafts available so that is 10 thousand gold right there that I'll be getting super fast just for logging onto this character, clicking a button once and just letting the game do its thing. Actually I have to click multiple times because some, for some reason whenever you try to create all every now and then it messes up. But yeah here we go, so if my resourcefulness procs right here we just saved 280 gold, again we saved 280 gold so having resourcefulness is actually pretty huge here. And there, there we go, so once again, uh, crafting five more. And procked another saving right there, uh, no saving this time, three more to go. And when you craft your last one you will see the cooldown is starting, so usually there's a 24 hour cooldown on transmuting. But once again, because I have this talent point right here, transmutation, I can transmute more often than other people. Which now lets me have a 16 hour, 47 minute cooldown. So you're basically getting about, let's just uh, say, one and a half thousand gold every single day per character just by having this. And if you let it sit for one week, you will have 10,000 gold left to collect if the profit margins stays the same as it currently is right now for the rest of time. That means that for every single character you currently have unused on your character list, you can make 40,000 gold per month just by logging in once per week and collecting your profits. Takes you like no time whatsoever. It takes about one to two hours to set this up because once again you want to have 20 points here. So actually 20 points right here is super quick because you only have to have five points here. So by having 20 25 points you can start collecting the baseline profits right away so 25 points is all you need and you can start doing this once again log in once every single week do 10 crafts get 10,000 gold profit at the current price on every single character giving you 40,000 gold per month and that means if you have about seven or eight characters let's say seven characters you should be getting one wow token every single month for free just by logging in and doing some basic crafts now the profits of these transmutes will go up and down every single week and on a day to day basis as well so just look at which ones are profitable for you uh, or for, for your regions I should say and because once again these are materials that are sellable on the region wide auction house so ev even right now air is super profitable and air and earth should pretty much always be profitable the reality is some elements are just easier to obtain than others and air and earth are in way higher demand than frost and fire and frost and fire are in higher supply as well than air and earth so basically just check the price of transmute air and transmute earth on your server and do the one that is most profitable for you and that should give you some very easy profits every single week on that character either way boys and girls that is the video hopefully you enjoyed it and hopefully it helps you make some golden dragonflight i'm really enjoying this expansion so far we're already a month into the expansion and i'm still having so much fun it's super cool to see that we're still having the same amount of fun after the honeymoon period is over but yeah this expansion is just super good for gold making hopefully you're having as much fun as i am in the expansion and hopefully you're enjoying the holidays either way thank you so much for watching and i'll see you again very soon